we were talking about posture and sitting and chairs, ergonomic chairs. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's an important question. Um, we talked a little bit about the ball chair and the ability to move your spine. Now, a good ergonomic chair has a lot of features that allows you to uh, move and place your spine and adjust your posture to find uh, a comfortable position. But again, one of the things is not about finding that position. The feature of a good ergonomic chair is the fact that you can easily change the posture quickly with different features. For example, they all have handles so you can adjust the height. You can go higher or lower. You can adjust the tilt of the seat, the pan of the seat. You can adjust the inclination. So say you pick up the phone and you um, want to uh, relax a little bit. You push this lever, you lean back. And again, that unloads your spine a bit. It changes the pressure on the disc. It allows the fluid to circulate. And, and that's the advantage of the chair. It's not so much that you can, that gives you good support, although that's important, but the fact that it is, it is uh, very adjustable. Also, it turns, so you can turn and you can move around, which allows you again to face what you're doing, etc. But we have to understand there's a philosophical difference here between the ability to change your posture often and frequently and finding a perfect neutral posture, which means a static posture, a posture that doesn't move and stays still. So what we really want in the long term is the ability to get away from those static postures, but keep moving. That's why we stand up and stretch and move your arms. So I wanna talk a little bit about basically why some people um, like a, a chair, since you're in a car, for example, you have a, you can adjust the uh, inclination of the seat and why some people like to have their seat back and some people like to have very upright. And that has a lot to do with the flexibility of your hamstring muscles. And I'll, let me explain. So, your pelvis has these, we call them the sit bones, and they basically form the bottom of the triangle that basically allows your pelvis to be uh, either in a balanced position, in a posterior tilt, or in a forward tilt. So that's the sort of, uh, and the fulcrum of course is the, is the uh, sit bones. Then you have in the back of your legs, so you have your sit bones here and then you have your hamstring muscles. Now if your hamstring muscles are very tight, if you're not a very flexible person, when you sit and you try to sit upright and very straight, if your hamstrings are tight, it's difficult to do that. So it's for people with very tight hamstrings, they like to recline a bit more because then it takes the pressure off the hamstring and they find this a more comfortable position. They, so they recline more. Other people are very flexible. They would rather be more upright with the seat pushing you to keep your head in the neutral position. But again, we still like to go back to a sitting platform, if you wish, that has uh, an ability to uh, provide a change of position, frequent change of position. So this is okay, but it's not ideal.